Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No, Will Robinson. Danger. G'day, this is Big G. Welcome to the G spot. Now, a reasonably um, new contender on the online buying platforms is Timu. Um, they're not great, but they're not as bad as some. Um, they're certainly not as bad as AliExpress, um, but there are some trick, tricks and tips you need to know to navigate Timu safely. So, tip one. See up in the top left corner here, there's a countdown for free shipping. Totally ignore it. It is total bullshit. Everything on Timu is free shipping so that is just floss, frankly. I've seen more interesting stuff in the bottom of a toilet bowl. Also, you'll often see special deals, buy now, free shipping. Doesn't matter if you buy last week, it's still free shipping. As long as you're ordering $15 worth of stuff, and in fact, you cannot order it under $15 for the stuff. They won't process it. So ignore all this crap. Now, way back in a previous mailbag, I ordered a sign that I wanted, a tin sign, and it arrived mangled. I will put over here which mailbag it was if you want to see that. And then recently I wanted to order a different tin sign and I wanted to be sure that it would arrive in good condition. Well, as sure as I could be, given that Australia Post is about the most chronically useless entity on earth. So I decided to contact the seller directly to ask about packaging and I couldn't work out how to do it. So I went on YouTube and Google and there's hundreds of people that will tell you lies, frankly. All these people wanted to tell you how to contact a seller on Timu directly. Timu have confirmed with me and this took me about two weeks digging through their crap. But Timu have confirmed, not only can you not contact the seller directly, there is no provision for it anywhere on their platform, but there has never been any way to do it, nor do they have any intention of there ever being a way to do it. So this is the only way Verified by Timu, this is the only way you can get in contact with the seller. Now it's important you follow these steps. You click on the Timu emblem up the top. Okay, all we're doing that for is to make sure we're on a home page. You can't be on a search page, you can't be on a product page or it won't work. So having clicked that, to be double sure on the search page, we scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. And over here on the left. So we click on contact us. Oh, just before we go any further, notice this messages thing down here on the bottom right. A lot of those fake YouTube videos and whatnot will tell you to click on that to contact the seller. You still have to go through Timu even if you click on that. And in fact, if you never contacted anyone before, you won't even have this option. So forget that. 
So we click on contact us down here. We all right have question for a seller. I haven't seen this before. Well, they tell me I have to email Timu. So this has changed in the last hour. Okay, live. Agent. No, I don't want any of that shit. Chat with their agent. No, I'm not interested in that crap. You have to be a little bit persistent, but eventually you should get onto someone with an unpronounceable name. I'm going to tell them that I need to contact a seller of that packaging. Now they're probably going to want to know which seller, so I'm going to have to go and find a random seller in a minute. By the way, don't expect immediate response. They can be talking up, uh, talking to up to 50 different people all at the same time. Uh... Okay, let's go and find a fake product that'll do. You click on this share button up here, come down, copy the ID. Now we will go back to our messages if we can find them. There we go. Ignore all this flashing. That's meant to make you think that they're actually reading what you wrote. It's just automated crap. Again, this message means nothing. It's an autom um, uh, automatically generated message because you're being... You're only one of 50 or 60 being dealt with at any one time by any one person. By the way, while we're waiting, once you've actually made contact with a seller, you can click on this to go back to their conversation. Don't know how long it remains in the queue, but mine have been there for a couple of weeks. So once you've actually made contact with a seller, you don't have to keep going through all this rubbish. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, 
almost confused the little slanty-eyed people. You don't know my question. So, how can you be checking it? Oh, here we go. So, you should eventually get this option. Yes, contact the store. Then you click on Take Me to the Conversation. Right. Now, sometimes you'll get an immediate response. Not often, but sometimes. So this is where the messages thing comes into play. So you log on every now and then, check these messages. I'll take you to mine. Okay, this is one that hasn't really given me an answer. But anyway, that's how you do it. Now, some other things about Timu. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the home page. Let's look at some random stuff. Look, since we're here anyway, I'm going to click on this. I have one of these cameras. And yes, they do do 1080p, uh, 10,080 pixels. But they use a slightly fish-eyed lens. So it distorts your image. And the microphone that's built into them is the absolute worst I have ever come across in any device at all as long as I've lived. So let's go find something else. Um, actually, we'll just go back to that. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Now, I bought one of these for my kids a fair while back and they stopped working after you know, about 20 hours use. The images they produce are, I guess, okay. But have a look at the reviews. Four and a half, yeah? Well, I say bullshit. Shop reviews, nearly 10,000 reviews. And have a look at this. They're all glowing reviews. You want to get to the truth of it? Sort by lowest rating. So here we have some more realistic reviews. Um, didn't receive it. Power button doesn't work. And I can verify that the power button's fake. It's not even wired up. This looks like nothing. 
This looks nothing like what is shown, really low quality. Well, this is definitely not the same product. Shannon, you have been sent the wrong item. Huh. I received this with the box damage. That's pretty much standard to me. And the light stopped working within the next three minutes. Well, as I said, these truly are rubbish. But anyway, I recommend that you actually go and uh, take the time to get down to those bottom reviews to get some more realistic feedback. Let's go back, check our messages again. Oh, here we go. They have responded. Most items from Timu uh, damaged on arrival. That's true. How will you pack these? And if they don't seem willing to help, just don't deal with them. Now one thing I will say in favour of Timu, I've never had a problem or even a dispute about getting a refund. Um, because Timu, Timu know how bad their packaging is. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time.